Greetings, naturopath Eric Packer from New Zealand, author of Candida Crusher. Thanks for checking out this video today. Let's talk about toenail fungus. So I've done some videos on toenail fungus, but a yeast infection involving the toenails is quite common. Millions of people around the world have this problem. But what about what not to do if you have toenail fungus? So let's say you've got a yeast infection of the nails and you want to get rid of this. You want to nail the nail infection, all right? How do you get rid of it? Well, let me just talk about some things that you should not do if you want to get rid of this yeast infection. One thing is do not rely on pharmaceutical medicines to get rid of a yeast infection. This to me is a ridiculous thing because it takes away your responsibility or your accountability for actually being involved in causing this problem. If you're starting to use creams or pills or drugs to get rid of problems, all right, it makes you, gives you a false sense of belief that you can cure this problem by using an external means only not going to happen. You'll get rid of the symptoms, but when you stop the drug, the symptoms come back. And this is what the drug companies like. They like you to keep going back to their drugs, whether it's Lamisil or Leconazole, whatever kind of drug you use, you should not rely on drugs, all right? Number two, try and get around bare feet. Don't always wear shoes and socks. Now, a lot of people who live in the northern hemisphere or in the southern part, in the cooler uh, temperate areas, particularly wear socks too much. So wearing socks all the time in shoes or pantyhose is not a good idea if you want to get rid of yeast infection. Kick off those shoes and socks. I fly on planes a lot, for example. I've learned to always take my socks and shoes off on an air flight. All right? Pressure in the cabin changes. It tends to be a different atmosphere up there. I feel more comfortable bare feet. I've got clean feet and socks. So I haven't got smelly feet or smelly socks. So, you know, if you're sitting there for anywhere from 45 minutes up to two or three hours, take your shoes and socks off and just relax, all right? If you're watching TV or you're doing some relaxing pursuit, have bare feet. So what not to do is to keep your feet covered, all right? Number three, don't always wear the same pair of shoes or sneakers. Keep changing them all the time and allow these shoes, uh, you know, get several pairs. Allow, some, allow a, a pair that you wear frequently to air out. Put a few drops of tea tree oil or oregano oil in the shoe itself. The vapors will end up killing the yeast quite substantially. Get new pairs, rotate shoes, throw old shoes out, don't keep old shoes. As soon as they show signs of wear, throw them out. Shoes are cheap these days. So just keep changing your shoes, all right? What not to do also is not to rely only on external treatment, whether it is pharmaceutical or natural. So just by using tea tree oil or oregano oil or whatever kind of product on the toenail is a dumb idea without taking in consideration the internal changes that need to occur. So you need to really look at your diet and lifestyle. Okay, failures happen when only external or local treatment is used. Lots of failures happen, I see, in that case. So you can nail this yeast infection. Look at the internal environment of the gut, particularly, because this will really mean you've either got a powerful immune function or poor immune function. Take a good antifungal product. I developed a product called Canzida for that reason. C-A-N-X-I-D-A, canzida.com, very powerful antifungal product, right? It's just recently been updated now. There are 12 of the best antifungal, antibacterial, antiparasite, natural nutrients in that product. You take three a day, you'll nail this nail infection, particularly if you use an external product. Remember, no sugars, antifungal treatment, local treatment, lifestyle treatment, done. You've nailed it. Thanks for tuning in.